All right, you guys. Hi, it's Lori, the Cheeky Crafter, and we're going to do something called, I'm going to call it Wheel of Craftiness. So what I've done is that I have loaded up all of my uh, sentiments, my Stampin' Die sets, different colors, and some embellishments. And what I thought we would do is spin this wheel, and whatever comes up is the kind of card I have to create. So let's get started with the sentiment. Let's see, what kind of card am I going to be making first? And this is just a free little wheel spinner app that I found online. All right, so we're going to have to make an anniversary card. All right. And then let's see, what color does it have to be? Now, again, I can use any colors as compliments, but this will have to be the main color of the card, so the most focal color. Oh, and of course, it's my least favorite color, yellow. Hopefully, somebody out there will appreciate an anniversary card in yellow. All right, let's see what sort of embellishments do I have to use. Oops, I'm clicking the wrong screen, sorry. <laughs> All right. And if you think of any other embellishments or colors or sentiments that I should add into my wheels, please let me know. All right, I've got to do embossing powder. I'm just making a note too. All right, now finally, let's get to all the different products that I have. So this is a list of all of the different stamps, dies, um, or stamp and die sets that I have. So hopefully something's gonna come up. It'll be terrible if it comes up with, well, actually it could be funny if it comes up with the sympathy sentiment stamp set, right? Let's see what we get. Let's spin the wheel. All right, what do we have here? Labels 20. Uh, I think that that is a Spellbinders die set, but we'll go, I'll find it. So let me gather up all of my supplies and then we will get right back together and I'll create the card using these defined things. Thanks. Okay, so here are the supplies that I've got out. Um, this is the Spellbind Spellbinders Labels 20 die set that I have to use. And you see it's just a set of nesting dies. So I chose these two. And so what I'll do is I ran them through the die cutting machine. And it gives me um, these two cutouts. So it makes a frame. And at the same time, it gives me this and cuts out from the big one. So what I thought I would do was um, give it a black background to kind of pick up some of the black that's in that paper. Oh, by the way, I found this paper in my stash. I'm going to save this piece for another card. And I'm going to put this piece here. And then remember, I also had to use embossing powder. So I've got my color yellow. I've got the Labels 20 die set. I've got to use embossing powder. And I have to use a Happy Anniversary sentiment. So I went through all my sentiments and I found this little Happy Anniversary. I thought it would look perfect right there in the middle. But obviously, I had to use some sort of embossing powder. So I thought, wouldn't it be cute if I did the embossing in yellow? bringing in more of that color. Now this isn't quite the right match of yellow. Gold might have been better, but so what I did is I cut another one of these and then I stamped happy anniversary and embossed it. You, I don't know if you can tell that that's embossed, but it is with that yellow powder. So what I thought I would do is then cut it here and here and just nestle it right in the middle of that one. So let me cut this real quick with my paper trimmer, which is not on screen. All right, so as you can see, I got this cut out. I just cut off the top and the bottom, and I thought I would put it right here. But then I thought this card still looks a little plain. It needs a little more decoration. So I went through <clears throat> my other stamps and dies, and I found this little sunflower, which is what's in the background here. And it doesn't match exactly, but I thought it was cute. So what I did is I die cut this from the back side of this paper. So if you look, the back side of that paper is still that yellow color. So I just cut it, then I took some Gina K. Uh, peach Bellini and just rubbed my brush around the edges and I thought I could just pop that up right here in the middle um, or above this sentiment so let's put the card all together and let's see how it turns out so I'm going to use my tape gun to do this big piece and then we'll probably use glue to do the smaller ones so that we have just enough wiggle room to get it in place. But this one shouldn't be a big deal. We should be able to get this one down, no problem. All right. Let me get the, that embossing powder off. The only bad thing about using the tape gun is that you only get one shot to get it down. This paper 
um, was just in my stash. This flower paper was just something I had in my stash. So it's not um, the highest quality. <clears throat> or excuse me, I shouldn't say it. It's fine quality, sorry. It's not super thick. So it's real, you know, it's truly paper, like copy paper thickness. All right, let's get some glue on this one. Remember, it doesn't take too much. You don't want it smushing out the sides. And then we want to make sure that it lines up where it should be going. Where was, which way was this one? Well, I screwed the pooch on that, didn't I? Let's put this one back in so I can decide where it goes. Oh, and you know what? This is actually a good idea anyway, because then I can make sure that I get this one right in the middle. So, all right, perfect. It goes in this way. So I'm just going to lay that down right here, and then I'm going to pop this one back out. Because we don't really need that one, so we'll get that layered look. All right, super. And then let's put our happy anniversary tag on, or sentiment. And again, we're just going to put this right in the middle. In hindsight, it might have been better to cut or to do it towards the bottom. Oops. But I think this is going to look good. All right. And then we've got this. I think we'll pop this up a little bit. So where is my foam tape? I wish that I had some little dots, but I don't. Not handy anyway. So we'll just put some foam tape on there. A hair too long. So there we go. All right, so we got us a happy anniversary with a flower, and then let's put it on a card base. I realize that the camera is super close. I've got to, um, I just got a new camera and I don't have all my equipment set up quite right yet, but I'll get there. All right, there we go. Happy anniversary, yellow embossing powder, and the labels 20 die cut from Spellbinders. I'll put a link to all of the different uh, items used in the comments. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed.